Hi everyone, I just want to do a brief update regarding Scientology. Um, people know that the Scientology Community Centre opened in Fur House last October. We've been protesting it. Um, we know that Narconon is going to be opening soon in Beliver and County Meath. We know that Scientology is a cult that offers bogus treatments to cure autism and other conditions. And we know that they are abusing and exploiting people. Those are the facts. Read L. Ron Hubbard's literature. It's all there on the internet for you to see. Hubbard promoted racism, paedophilia and quack treatments. He was a lunatic. Okay. Now, with the present climate politically, we have Trump um, putting little children in cages. We have fascism on the rise. We really don't need a disgusting cult spreading its wings in Ireland. That is something that we don't need and certainly that I will you know, fight against because I know they're targeting vulnerable people like my autistic children. They are claiming they can cure autism at Fur House in Dublin. And these are the facts, okay? I've reported the centre to the authorities here in Ireland last year. And because I speak out, I've been threatened. Two staff members from Fur House have abused me on the phone, threatened to beat my autistic children, stab me, and even molest my children. And the Guardian are investigating that as we speak. So that's Scientology. What I want to talk about briefly are those that support this cult. So what we have are, in recent weeks, two mayors from Cork, I think the deputy mayor and the mayor himself, attending an event run by the Filipino community. Now, this was organized by one Elizabeth Oligan. I've probably pronounced that wrong, but I've spoken to her today. And she said to me on the phone, oh, I only did it because I wanted to get a cheaper rate for the room. So all the morals and ethics are thrown out the window. They don't care about that. You know, this is the reality because I've spoken with a charity called Visit and their spokesperson, Nicola, last year, who told me she would take money from Nazis. So people don't care. As long as they're getting a free room, they will go into the Scientology Community Centre in Dublin. They don't care about the abuse. They don't care about the quackery. But to see the mayors doing this is absolutely shocking. And they're from Cork, which annoys me even more because I am from Cork, okay? Now, I've spoken to one of those mayors at the weekend and he said to me that um, he didn't feel right about going but went along anyway. I don't understand that at all. It's not like he had a gun pointed to his head. And he told me that when he left um, the event that he was presented with a presentation by the Scientology cult, meaning he was cornered on his departure and given literature with a ribbon tied around it. So if you rent a room at Scientology Centre, it's not about what you're doing. It's not about your event. There is an ulterior motive where they will want to try and um, wrap you up in their brainwashing and get you to join their cult. So that's what happened to this mayor. 300 people at this event, two of them nurses. David Hughes, who is the general, sorry, I'm asking my husband here for some information. Deputy General. The Secretary. Deputy General Secretary of the Irish Nurses and Midwife Organization at this event as well and another registered nurse Elizabeth Ogden who organized the event this has to stop no more excuses no more saying oh I want a free room if you go into that building and support that cult you support abuse exploitation and brainwashing so when are you gonna stop stop blaming Scientology it's being normalized by the likes of you please share this video thank you